Hi Taurus, how are you? It's me, LB. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. As always, your readings are timeless, Taurus. Infinity and beyond. And all 12 of the Zodiac sign readings, they're all for you. They're all part of the collective story. So go by the titles, go by the timestamps. Just go where you're guided. Look outside your big three. You'll get more answers that way. I'm going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot for you today. I feel like using decks I don't normally use today. I'm um, feeling a little nostalgic. Um, you had an interesting song come up on your Shuffle Mancy, Taurus. You had that song by Florence and the Machine, uh, Shake It Out. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Oh, whoa. It's hard to dance with the devil on your back, so shake them off. There's this idea, Taurus, that you need to like snap out of it. I don't know what it is yet, but you need to snap out of it. You need like a wake up call. You need, it's very easy sometimes. Like life, the human experience is incredibly chaotic. And this has been something that like I've been having a lot of private conversations with people about this week about how the human experience, it's very chaotic. It is like the elevator business. It's crazy and it's wonderful and it's beautiful and it's painful and it's like tumultuous. It's all of these things. But sometimes when we hit like a little bit of a lull or we hit a little bit of a rough patch, sometimes we tend to stay in it too long. Um, and it's the idea of take your time to heal, take your time to process your emotions. But at some point you need to like get back up on that horse, Taurus, and you got to go, my love. Um, and so that's what we're gonna try and do today. That's like the main kind of download that I'm pulling in for you. It's time to get back up on that horse and you know, gallop into the sunset, y'all. So let's pray and then we'll, we'll see what comes out for you in the cards. Very good, very good. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Taurians in today. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Taurus's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Taurus. So, I think there's even a line in the song. Um, done with my graceless heart. Got to cut it out and then restart. Um, I keep dragging that horse around. That's what it is. I keep dragging that horse around. Look, nine of swords. Look what's popping out for you. Stressed. It's like trying to figure out a way. And I think this is like a collective message right now. Cause this came through a little bit in Gemini's reading that I had just done about feeling like a little backed up against the wall, trying to figure out like the right way to, to get out of something. I'm seeing all of these books and all this paper around you, Taurus. You might be, for some of you, you're in like a legal situation, like custody, school, uh, 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 financial assistance. Like there's something in that and you're trying, you're like going through like research books, uh, case studies, like trying to figure out some of you are actually in school and like you're feeling, or you're getting ready for school and you're feeling a little overwhelmed already before the semester starts about like the workload that you're taking on. There is something about that. There's this little cardinal in the windowsill though. So while you may feel like really anxious and stressed out and really very kind of isolated in your process, you are being watched over. You have all of this ancestral help, angels, guardian angels, family members, like you have a lot of help here as well and these swords it feels like very defensive it feels they feels very defensive like you have all of these like weapons around you it's the sense of like assuming the worst or expecting the worst um out of people places and things very worst case scenario kind of thing as well for some of you just because it's coming through and i'm just looking at these papers on the floor down here some of you have gone and done like, like some Ancestry.com, 23andMe, like that kind of thing. Like looking back kind of through like your family tree and like being really disappointed, being really disappointed about what you found out. And maybe even feeling a little stressed that you're going to relive some of these generational patterns um, that you've seen. First, okay, this has to be for one person. This has to be for one. One of you found out that you're actually adopted you were like, you were snooping around like through some family files, like something, something like that. And you realize that you were adopted, which in and of itself isn't a big deal, but it's the idea that it was like kept secret from you. For some of you, there's like something going on in your past um, with your family, perhaps that was kept secret from you. Um, perhaps it was something that made the trajectory that you've been on harder than it had to be. It's not a family lie, like that kind of thing. Your, your father's not your father. It's, it's that kind of situation. 
trust me, we got plenty of that shit that goes on in, in my family. So my my sympathy and my condolences, Taurus, if that is if that is your case. But I just feel like you've been stuck in a holding pattern for a long time for the majority of you um those are very specific downloads um but for most of you just been stuck in a holding pattern trying to figure out how to get out of it how to make things better for yourself really kind of anxious really kind of worn down from it feeling very alone but it's coming in to let you know that you're not alone taurus you are seen you are heard your tears are being counted they are being noticed but it's the idea of that there's like a new day See how it's like peaking so much from this one card. Um, there's this dawn and it's peaking right outside the window, but you have to take your eyes off of the floor. You have to take your eyes off of the problem and look forward um, towards hope, right? Hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. So it's just food for thought. What are you? King of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Feeling a little impatient. My apologies for the people cutting the grass outside. Um, but that being said, that means I don't have to cut the grass outside, so I'm not that sorry. Um, so the King of Wands in reverse. As someone that has a hard time sticking to a plan, um, sticking to a project, seeing things through to completion. Oh, there's a lot of dudes outside. There's a lot of dudes outside. Multiple, multiple yellow shirt men. And not a single one of them is cute. But they got some cool bucket hats, so focus, Lauren, focus. Um, so it's someone that has a hard time, maybe that's it, maybe that's it. Like they're very easily distracted, they have a hard time kind of seeing projects and things through to the end a little bit. Um, it could also be like a very impulsive energy. Someone could have made like a very impulsive decision um, having to do with something that you were involved in. Maybe it was joint finances, right? Um, and it kind of left you feeling like you had to clean up the mess all by yourself. Like someone kind of went around you, went behind your back, made some decisions that had some consequences that now you were the one left kind of sweeping up the mess. Not really sure how to do it because maybe you are not prepared um, for this kind of problem. Um, and you're not well versed in the solutions needed in order to um, figure it out. That's for some of you because that feels very external. First, I mean, for some of you, this could have been your own energy. Like you impulsively made a decision and now like you're kind of suffering the consequences of it and you're not feeling super prepared for it, feeling very stressed out, but it feels more external. It feels external for most of you. Like someone fumbled a bag. Six of Pentacles. Interesting. Interesting. There's a few things in this card. There's, okay. All right. Okay. All right, Tori, so you have a very generous nature, right? So you could have actually allocated like a certain amount of time, energy, funds um, to perhaps give to charity or to help someone, right? Maybe you told someone you were gonna help them pay for something. You had money set aside um, for your children's schooling, for braces, like. For, for some kind of home renovations, like something like that, that would benefit more than just you is how it's coming through. Um, a donation, something like that. And again, something happened. Um, it threw, it feels through no fault of your own that is preventing you from being able to do this. Um, it also feels like this is connected to this King of Wands in reverse energy. So someone else trying to perhaps showboat, make it seem like they had more to give, than they had giving money that maybe wasn't necessarily theirs, like wanting to seem very generous, but but then doing so in such a way that it prevents um, actual obligations and responsibilities to be taken care of. And now you're stressed out. I had that money put aside for something. I had that money put aside for something. Hmm. Hmm. Because now they're bringing back in that lyric, it's hard to dance with the with the devil on your back, right? It's the idea of like, I don't want to sit in this energy. Like, I don't want to be so stressed out. Like, that's not really want, what I want to do. But like, I have to figure this out. I have to figure this out. <clears throat> Queen of Swords in reverse. It could be making you like a little chilly. It could be making you like a little bit closed and 
shut off. Um, only it's only if that is your energy, it's just a way towards probably for you to compartmentalize your emotions. So that way you can, um, actually get some stuff done. If you are in like this hyper emotional state, it's really hard to, um, click your logic on, get things done that have to get done. This also feels like an external energy though, as well, which is strange. And I don't love it. <clears throat> I super don't love it. Um, and I, okay. All right. This is a weird reading. Um, go check your other placements y'all. Um, I'm seeing the 10 of wands in reverse as well. And I'm seeing the six of pentacles in between this king of wands in reverse and this queen of swords in reverse, which is like a really chilly energy. I'm also pulling in like some like mother-in-law, like sister-in-law, like there's that like kind of energy in here. So I'm wondering if like there's this king of wands in reverse character in your life and they, uh extend in some kind of charity or some kind of help to someone who sits in very much of a queen of swords in reverse energy someone a little cool someone a little cutting someone a little cold right in an effort to ten of wands in reverse um get some burdens off their back this could even be like child support again some kind of charity like some kind of some kind of help right it's the idea that this king of wands character wanted this queen of swords character off their back uh, again to release these burdens so they extended some kind of charity but in doing so in doing so it does not feel like you were consulted oh, so weird. it doesn't feel like you were consulted and in doing so it put you in a bind it somehow put you in a bind or left you feeling um and this may be okay this may be something that happened in the past and you're just finding out about it now which is why you're looking back through receipts perhaps looking back through receipts looking back through uh phone logs bank statements stuff like that and realizing it could have been like again if this was like a partner um or someone that you you shared finances with i can also see this playing out in terms of like a family business someone telling you we don't have the money for that we don't have the money for that we're still saving for that not realizing that like the whole time you actually did have the money for that but it was going to like a queen of swords in reverse energy and y'all listen if you're new to, to this channel Hey, um, but I don't, I don't do these type of readings. I don't even typically do love readings. It's all about like personal spiritual development, but, and this is not what I thought was going to come out when I started pulling these cards at all. Um, I thought this was going to be like a Shirley Temple, be optimistic. Like it was going to be one of those kind of readings. I wasn't expecting this and I typically don't do these sorts of readings, but it is coming out. Um, and it's not my job to edit the message. So I'm just, as a disclaimer, like if you're new here, Thank you for stopping by. I hope you come again. But this is not like the average everyday reading that I do on this channel. But if it's coming through, it's coming through. And it is, a, these are general readings. Um, but this does also feel very specific. So if this is not your story, then please go check out your other placements that have nothing to do with this whatsoever. Okay. I am seeing the Eight of Cups in reverse, which tells me that Whatever this was, whatever kind of like entanglement, whatever kind of financial response, whatever, whatever kind of aid was extended to this queen of swords in reverse and it's male or female gender is fluid. None of these cards are gender specific. Um, it, it was an obligation that they, they couldn't walk away from with the eight of cups in reverse. They couldn't walk away from it. The world in reverse it's making it hard for you to wrap up your own cycle though for some of you you had money set aside for a move or to go to school or something like this and you didn't realize that and it's like you're going it's it's almost august it's the middle of july you're going to put down payments down you're going to do all of that kind of stuff and now you don't have the money for it because it was already taken without you really knowing about it and allocated somewhere else. And now for some of you, you're trying to get like finance and you're trying to get all that kind of stuff, but you don't qualify for it because of your pa your tax bracket, right? It's like they're counting in money that you don't have anymore. That happens sometimes. The Empress though. This is a really nice sign to see though, because this means that it is going to get all worked out for you. This is you being able to tap into your divine inheritance because um, typically in the Empress card, male or female, she's pregnant, which means that there's something new on the way, right? A new birth, 
um, a new job, a new leg of your journey, um, new inspiration, businesses, like there's something new being birthed into your, into your physical, into your tangible reality. Um, and no matter what, like it has to come to pass. It has to come to pass. Um, so this is the idea kind of going back to the song now that it's like, shake it off, shake it out. Sometimes, and I know this is like not very spiritually like guru of me to say, but sometimes shit happens. Sometimes shit happens to us and that's okay. Again, the human experience is very chaotic. It doesn't matter how much you meditate. You cannot be stoic all of the time. Um, sometimes you just need to snap out of it, brush yourself off, get back on that horse and know that come hell or high water, um, what God has predetermined for you, it will come to pass. God is not a man in which he should lie. So don't worry. I'm really happy that I see that card coming up, right? And the full, beautiful, have faith. How they're playing that song. Have a little faith in me. Have a little faith. I know this also feels like um like a victory march. Like a like just because her hands are like this. Like it's like this victory sort of thing. Victory over obstacles, victory over opposition, things that um weren't fair, but like God's really working them out for you, right? And I see, oh, that's what it is. Thank you so much. I see this boat over here. Right, which is the idea of like your ship's coming in, like very Mrs. Doubtfire. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. So this is someone deciding, you know, maybe someone donates to you, or maybe that financial aid does come through, or you know, maybe someone works out a payment plan with you, or you find a cheaper apartment, or like it's it's that kind of thing. It's some kind of um assistance that is divinely guided your way. Oftentimes God will God works through us to help each other, right? So um when you're moving into new phases. Uh, God will send divine helpers, friends, um, managers, uh, people to help you network, like wh whatever it is, divine helpers, um, always, uh, come in addition to new seasons and new births, right? Whether they're spiritual, physical, intellectual that come into your life. So I think this is you, um, being really excited about that, realizing that like the divine's not going to let you down, but you just need to snap out of that lower frequency and realize sometimes shit happens. Sometimes people will do you real dirty, but at the end of the day, like God always comes through. There's some things, there's some forms of real poetic justice that only God can bring into your life. And that's what's happening for you. And I just see you really kind of celebrating like the victory of this, but also appreciating like a little bit of the wake up call as well, because it's very easy to sit in this room and kind of wallow about things, especially when they're unfair, right? Trust me, I'm a Pisces. I know all about wallowing. I wrote the book on wallowing, but it reminds me of this song by this artist um, named Aries. And he has this song called fool's gold. And maybe that's something that like you, you know, not all that glitters is gold, right? You, you got involved with someone in something, a business, something a pyramid scheme, whatever it is. And it looked like it was golden, right? But it turns out it don't really glitter. And, and that's what this situation is talking about for you. That's okay as well. But he has this one line in the song that goes, it's hard to catch sunshine waiting by my desk. And again, it's going right back to this, right? Like you have to go and you have to meet the window. You have to meet the window. And you might see a sign, right? Like you might see like an eagle or a hawk in the sky. You may see a cardinal kind of going past you. You might see like these kind of physical symbols that like help is on the way, right? Blue jays, blue jays are very protective. Um, mushrooms are bringing in mushrooms. Um, mushrooms symbolically talk a lot about protection. You know, it might just like be on a walk or go outside and you're like, whoa, when did we grow mushrooms in the yard? Things like that. Seven of wands. This talks a lot about standing your ground. Definitely standing your ground because do you see how it's strange? It's the idea of, um, it's a way out. It's a way out for you, Taurus. Um, cause I see you like getting to the edge of this cliff and like feeling really victorious about it. And then like maybe some other people coming up to you being like, Hey, where do you think you're going? What do you think you're doing? Like that kind of thing. And this is you kind of having to stand your ground and be like, no, like, my ships are coming in. God's giving me a way out and I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm not going to feel guilty. I, no. See you later. Two of wands. Yeah. It's a new path. It's a new path. So this actually might, <clears throat> with this being kind of at night as well, this might be you in almost like a very much of a, 
a diplomatic kind of way because you are ruled by Venus, very similar to Libra, that you may kind of be able to neutralize this situation for yourself. You might not even actually explain to anyone that there's like some kind of ship, some kind of assistance, some kind of exit strategy, like there's something for you. You might not even explain it to anyone. You might just kind of neutralize um, the situation and then kind of under the cloak of night, right? Um, get the hell out of Dodge. Take your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your um, horse and, and ride off into the, into the moonlight, right? Because look, you have the, wow, you have the emperor and you have the high priestess coming out as well. Look at this. <clears throat> This is one, I mean, we could obviously talk about the emperor being the masculine aspect of your energy, fully tapped into your divinity on, on both sides of your energetic spectrum. But this could also be the actual divine helper, right? An emperor knows how to get out of an empire, knows how to get out of a kingdom. They know all the back routes. They know all the tunnels. They know all the trails, right? Um, with the high priestess, that this is the entry of the divine helper, um, or the divine assistance coming in that was already foretold to you through your intuition or through other modes of divination, such as a tarot reading like this. So, of course. I did not think, I was not expecting this for your reading today. This really threw me for a loop. Woo! All right. Well, like I said, this may not be all of your readings. If it is, it's all going to work out. If it isn't, go check your other placements for you new, for you, for you newbies. Um, this isn't normally like the kind of stuff that we cover in my readings, but I came out and I'm not allowed to edit. So, um, I hope that this reading served you well. I am going to go do an extended reading. So if you're interested in your extended reading, you have a choice between Vimeo and Patreon. Patreon, we do all of the extended readings, full monthly readings, and the spiritual development workshop. Um, and then all of my information for personal readings, your July monthly, all that stuff's going to be in the description box. I love you very much. I will see you next time. You stay prayed up, you stay blessed, you stay sweet, and I will see you very soon.